Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our virtual class. By the way, I'm Jamalia Inero and I'm your MAPI teacher this afternoon. Our topic this afternoon is all about prevention and control of non-communicable disease. Objectives demonstrate personal responsibility and helpful practice in the preventions and control of non-communicable diseases. Appreciate with the vast knowledge and understanding about the prevention and control of non-communicable disease, enumerate ways of unhealthy lifestyles that leads to non-communicable disease. Prevention and control of non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable or chronic diseases are diseases of long durations and generally slow in progression. It is a disease that cannot be transmitted. The four main types of non-communicable diseases are cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks and stroke, cancer, chronic respiratory diseases such as chronic obstructed pulmonary disease and asthma, and diabetes. Non-communicable diseases or NCDS are the top killer, killers in the Philippines. Of the total death in 2016, 57% are due to the fatal poor NCDs namely cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, and chronic respiratory disease. It is estimated that 35 to 50% of NCD deaths occurred before age 60 years. Key elements for leading a healthy life. Exercise regularly. Drink plenty of water. Reduce stress. Eat healthy. Ways to prevent non-communicable diseases. Healthy diet. Specific recommendations for a healthy diet includes eating more fruit, vegetables, legumes, nuts, and grains, cutting down on salt, sugar, and fats. This can prevent you from risk factors of chronic diseases, including cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, and other conditions like obesity. Physical activity. Regular exercise and activity help protect, protect against the development of non-communicable diseases. It also helps to ensure good bone health and helps to prevent related problems such as cancer as well as risk of fractures. Normal weight. Weight should be adjusted according to the body mass, mass index or BMI of a person. Children should not be overweight as it can affect them in the coming stage of life. Avoiding tobacco and alcohol. Alcohol and tobacco contain harmful substances which could lead to mouth and lung cancer. Peer pressure. Consumptions of alcohol in teens can lead to abuse and violence among them. It is usually caused because of peer pressure. Pollution. It is one of the causes of non-communicable and frequently observed in polluted areas. Discipline. Be responsible to your health. To cure non-communicable diseases. Visit and consult to professional doctors. Have a medical treatment. People have the right to get proper treatment at affordable prices. It is also supported by the DOH. More Filipinos exposed to NCD risk factors, a significant, a significant promotion of Filipino adults continue to be exposed to the NCD rest of tobacco and alcohol use, unhealthy diets and physical inactivity. This makes millions of Filipinos vulnerable in developing NCDs in the future. Causes of NCDs or risk factors, unhealthy diet, tobacco usage, physical inactivity, stress factors, overweight or obese or genetics, harmful use of alcohol, environmental factors. You are at risk if you have a person in your family have one of the NCDs, have high blood pressure, have high cholesterol level, are obese or overweight, are exposed to air pollution, have raised blood glucose level, are exposed to environmental factors. Self-monitoring skills to prevent non-communicable diseases. 
self-monitoring skills are competencies that will help us assess when we are healthy or, or sick. It is important that we are familiar with the normal conditions of our bodies so that we can detect at once when something is wrong. It is also important that we have information such as our vaccination record to ensure the health, safety, and well-being to provide preventive measures. What self-monitoring skills can help non-communicable diseases? Changing and adapting a healthful lifestyle considerably enhances people's health. Aside from avoiding bad biases, Filipinos should adapt and practice the following self-monitoring skills that will help prevent and control non-communicable diseases. Engage regularly in physical activities or exercise. This will help attain an overall good health condition. Practice healthful eating, choose healthy food options, avoid foods that may increase risk of developing a disease. Avoid smoking and secondhand smoke. Cigarettes contain toxic substances that manage cells in the body and cause different kinds of diseases. Manage and maintain a normal weight. Obesity is one of the factors that increase risk of developing lifestyle diseases. Do regular exercises and follow a healthful diet. Have a routine medical checkup. This will detect disease during the early stage. Early detections will help control and treat the disease. Learn to manage stress. Stress weakens the immune system and the body making it prone to disease. Take some breaks and engage in activities that will help lessen stress. What is healthful lifestyle? As they say, health is wealth. Healthy lifestyle is all about making one's health and well-being a priority. It is a choice made by an individual, a commitment made for his own good and that of, we, that of his loved ones.